apart from energy audits uh, and the energy management regulations, which mainly targets these large consumers, we also have other means of uh, ensuring energy is used well in the country, uh, mostly targeting domestic consumers. Uh, we, we, we have regulations to deal with the standards and labeling, whereby we insist that products that use electricity, which are important in this country, must meet a certain threshold of efficiency. Uh, these products uh, so far are uh, the electric motors, we are talking of ballast, that's electronic, but the, the ballast for fluorescent lamps, we are talking of fluorescent lamps themselves, we are talking of uh, uh, compact fluorescent lamps, CFLs, uh, they are sometimes called the energy savers, we are talking of air conditioners, and we are talking of refrigerators. Domestically, it's, it's a very easy to monitor how you're using your energy consumption because the energy bill for a domestic user is quite simple to understand. One way of understanding how you're using your energy because uh, the output in a typical domestic home is constant every day, the best way is to compare your bills every month. It's important to look at the units that are on your bills, uh, the, 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 the bills you get, that's if you're a, a prepaid uh, if you're a post-pay customer, you look at the Kenya Power Bills, they are, they, are, they, are, they are indicated, and then you can now monitor and see what you used last month, if it's uh, maybe same as what you're using the, the other month. So that's one way of looking at the bills. Another one is, uh, of course, those who are using uh, the prepay systems. Uh, the bill, the, the energy, the, the Kenya Power uh, billing system gives you the units. So it's, it's, it's possible for you to compare, like this month, I, I bought this number of units, I used them for this long, then the other month I used this, so you can now do a comparison. Eh? Uh, sometimes when you do that, you can find there are areas you've been um, missing, uh, that's why your bills have gone high. Uh, there are easy ways of trying to make sure that your bills are coming low. One is uh, the, the lighting system in, in, a, in, a, in a typical domestic home. You'll find that we have in the incandescent bulbs, that these bulbs which are very hot, uh, the bulb could go for 40 bob, 40 shillings or 50 shillings. Now those kind of bulbs are the ones uh, uh, domestic users are supposed to move from their homes unless they're using them for commercial purposes like in a hatchery. But just for, if you use such a bulb for normal lighting system in the house, then that bulb is going to consume a lot of power. So you need to remove such bulbs and you either buy the, the comp compact present lamps or you buy the LEDs which could save up to 80% of the energy you're consuming because for a, a good case in point is you're using an incandescent bulb of 60 watts or 65 watts. That incandescent bulb, can, you can get an equivalent lighting uh, appliance, let's say an LED of 5 watts. So if you divide 60 over 5, you get that's 12. So if you, you find you're using, a, you find you're using, you're using a 12 times more what you could have used if you are, you are using an LED lamp. So those are some of the, the simple things that domestic uh, domestic energy users are supposed to use. It's also prudent to encourage use of natural light, like during the day, if your house is exposed, is exposed to the sunlight, then you draw the curtains. Mm -hmm.